really quickly before this video starts, it is currently still at the moment Raiden Shogun's banner. And uh, I made an oopsie. So I, w I, was, I did like, I had like a couple pulls. I, I bought the ones in the shop. And we were like pretty close to pity for a force up. So, you know, I did a pull trying to get Chevrus. We unfortunately did not get Chevrus. We have a C1 Kujo Sara now. That's not the uh, biggest oopsie. We also have a C1 Raiden now. So, um, hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. For anyone wondering, we were at probably 25 pity. Really early. End of 50-50 win, which kind of sucks because now we have no pity or anything for Shalonim. But yeah, we have C1 Raiden now. So, um, yeah, that's something. So that uh, is now our second C1 limited 5 star. That's why I just did the pulls without starting a recording because I thought I'd just grab Chevrus. It'll be two pulls. Easy. I can just say we got Chevrus in my next video. Sweet. And uh, yeah, that's not the case. Now we uh, have C1 Raiden and no Chevrus. I think our luck's entirely gone on this account because last video we got Raiden. We won 50 50 for Raiden. Then we got 15 pity Gene on Xander Banner. And now we have 25 pity or 20, like 20 something pity. A 50 50 win for C1 Raiden. So, um, well, let's hope my Shalonan luck's gonna be a little bit better. So, I will send you off to future me. And, uh, yeah, we now have C1 Raiden. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. Hold up. Wait, no, I take that back. I just did one pull. And uh, now we have Chevrus as well. So, uh, we got what we wanted plus more on that banner. I just wanted to try to get Chevrus, and now we have Chevrus. I just did the limited event thing that's on at the moment, the web event. So uh, now we have Chevrus, which is nice because I did want to get Chevrus because she's, I think, the uh, one of the only four-star supports we have left. Does actually mean that we have every single support four-star that we can use. We only just have a couple more support five-stars left. On the topic of that, I've seen a bunch of people mentioned this in the comments dear do we are we counting dear as a support or not i originally didn't but i've seen a ton of people tell me that she should be let me know dear support or not so with that now i'm gonna send you back off to future me it is raiden building day today i have been meaning to do this for a while since we got her which wasn't really that long ago however i've been waiting for the stupid fish to keep spawning in so i can get the catch and I don't really have another video, so I need to get this one out, and I still don't think I'm going to have enough fish. I should have enough of these Ramai, whatever the angel fish things. I think we should be sweet for them. Oops, that's, yep, good, good start. Oh no, this is going really, really bad. Come on, get on the ledge, thank you. Because we need the Ramai angel fish, and then we need the koi's. And I'm pretty sure I may need to go farm those koi's in someone else's world, because I don't think I have enough. We currently have 13 and 5. That should be fine. The Rusty Koi should be fine. The Golden Koi, however, might prove more difficult. And as you would have seen from the title, we are going to be doing this in 24 hours. And this time I do mean one day. Sometimes my 24 hours is like one day or total time. But basically it is midday at the moment. So we've got until midday tomorrow to get Raiden built. Although realistically, I don't think we should take much more than maybe an hour or two. Well, there is all the angelfish farmed. We are now sitting at 10 of them. We actually got quite a bit more than I thought, so we should be sweet. Now we got to deal with the other fish. Well, there is the last rusty koi we need. Now we need, I think, eight more golden koi. Well, we are missing three, I think. Yes, three golden koi. This is our last location. And by the looks of things, there is no golden koi here. Oh, wait, we have one. We do need two more golden koi, which means it's time to find someone who actually speaks English. Also, as you can see, I'm not at world level nine, which means I only get about half. I will get back to that. We will deal with that weapon towards the end of the video then, I guess. For the time being, let's work on building Raiden Shogun. We need these, which we should easily be able to get because there is absolutely loads of them. Also, before we start this, we can ascend Kujo Sara, so I'm going to do that. Because if I end up using Raiden Shogun as a, you know, main damage dealer, 
then Cujo is probably going to be our best character to run with her. Well, there we go. That should be all of the things we need. 105. Perfect. Those have to be the easiest materials to farm. I wish every material was like that. So, now we should be able to get Raiden Shogun up to 80. And we're just missing the famed hand guards. We need quite a few more of them, so that might be a problem. Never mind, I can craft things. There we go. I mean, I can buy things. I just bought some from the Stardust shop. Because I have plenty of stuff. So now, Raiden Shogun can go to level 90. There we go. Lovely. Next is... We'll deal with that in a second. Talents. I kind of don't really need to bring these up too much. However, I'm going to bring them up to... I'd like to say eight. Obviously, I'm leaving a normal attack. It doesn't do anything. But I'd like to get these two up to eight. And with a bit of crafting, that might be possible. There's seven. Can we push eight? We will be able to push eight if we can craft six of them, which we easily can do. So now Raiden Shogun can get eight eight with her talents lovely now we'll deal with pushing them to nine later i will get them to level nine at some point but we're going to need a lot more stuff so i reckon it it might take a minute i'll farm these famed hand guards and if we can get enough of them we'd need 18 then i might push these both to nine because then she'd be basically maxed out because we're not using her normal attack at all because it is entirely useless so let's go farm the famed hand guards. Okay, farming done. I think that should be indeed. Burst can go up to level 9. And now we are nowhere near enough of these. So we're going to need 12 of them. I need to condense my resin. But let's see what we can do. Ooh, we can craft bang on 8 golds. Hell yeah, that should be now, hopefully, exactly 12. Perfect. That means, boom, Raiden Shogun's talents are, I think, the highest out of anyone's account at the moment. Now, that's that stuff done. She is a C1, which is crazy lucky. And also artifacts, which at the moment, I mean, that's okay. It does the job. That one's also pretty decent. That is not, that is definitely not, and that's an off piece, which is still incredibly garbage. That piece could be good. I think we kind of want more crit rate over damage. I'm not too sure about that though. Okay, is that an upgrade? It is, so we have a little bit more crit rate on this. We don't have any ER, but that's fine. That piece is, you know what, we're going to actually swap that with Shanglings. So we have a little bit more crit rate. Now we are running 42 to 166, which I guess is okay. But our main problem still lies in this piece. We somehow don't even have any good electro damage bonuses. Oh, wait. No, we might have one. Perfect. Well, just solved that problem. Now this is our only problem. So I'm just going to need to get a better circlet for her. Otherwise, everything else is pretty decent. Now she's at 43, 179. So let's use... We have 90, so we should be fine. Let's use three of them. And let's go run the emblem domain a couple times. Hopefully, we get a good circlet. That is a very big hopefully. Oh, come on. Really? ER, double crit. Except it's on a HP. I'm going to keep it, though, because I don't know. If someone scales with HP, that could be really nice. Ooh, that's a nice piece. Not useful for anyone at the moment, but it is a nice off piece. Not that I really have any DPS Dendro characters. I mean, I do. It's just one, I, just one that I can't use because he is actually a DPS. Not a support that we use as a DPS. Well, this is the last run. I'm not going to do any more Fragile Resin after this. This is the last run. Please give us... Okay, come on. Crit damage. Nope. Okay. What else did I expect, really? Well, we'll chuck those last couple things into the strong box and maybe we get something. 
Oh, well, of course. Yes, a really nice feather piece that we don't... That's not a feather, it's a flower. A really nice flower piece that we don't need. Come on, circlet. Yes, crit damage. No, wrong, wrong place for that crit damage. You wanted it up here. It would appear like this is our best piece. So, Raiden Shogun is running 43 to 179. Basically 180. 1200 attack. A lot of death. It's not incredible. But it is something. Okay, that just leaves Raiden's weapon. So, it's time to try to find something in co-op again. You know what? Screw it. I need all the chances I can get to get into co-op at the moment. So, I'm going to go do... World Ascension. Get up to world level 9. I can just lower it later if it's too hard. Plus, I mean, it's going to give us some pools that we can use for Shalonen. Because we still don't have Shalonen. Now, I'm not expecting this to be very difficult. And I know for a fact that it's not very difficult. Okay. Very, very easy. Two more standard pools. Double blue. Love to see it. Now we get a couple more pools for Shalonen. Yes, finally we got in. God, this is stacked with the golden koi here. That's an ornamental one. We can't use them. Now, is that enough? We That is indeed enough. They had an abnormal amount of golden koi in their fishing spot. Would have loved it if that, if that was me. So I didn't need to go try to find carp worlds. But that's fine. Doesn't matter. We now have everything we need to get this stupid catch. Give me this. I'm pretty sure this is the first catch I've ever gotten on like any account. Well... Now Raiden can get a very nice weapon. Let's hope we have enough stuff to level this up. We do not. Luckily, this domain is open today. Catch can go up to level 40. There we go. We can bring that up to the next ascension. And we can go up to the next ascension. I'm pretty sure we have most of the stuff, so we should be able to get this weapon up to level 90. It might require a little bit of farming... Yes, or crafting. How many of these can I craft? Three. Okay, well, I'm going to need to do more runs in here then. So I'll run this domain a bunch, and then spectres are annoying, but I think I actually do have a pretty decent amount of them saved up for some reason. I don't know why. I was going to build Kujo Sara a little bit more, but I don't really feel like doing that. Plus, I'm not building a team around Raiden at the moment. I'm sort of just using her to help out with the national team so we don't really need kudrasara at the moment i will build kudrasara when i want to make ride and do big damage well there is level 80 can we go 90 we need eight more of them one more of them and four of them well uh problem number one we are missing one of those golds luckily we do not have any other problems so, we just need to grab that and go run this domain one more time. And boom, one more gold. Now, Raiden Shogun weapon. Boom, there we go. Raiden's weapon is now level 90, which puts Raiden at 1300 attack, 249 ER which I think is better than what it was. Yes, it must have been. It gives her some burst damage increase and some burst damage crit rate increase. So now let's go see what Raiden is doing, or more so this entire team, because now we have reactions and all sorts of good stuff. Elemental skill, 15k. It does hits now of about 5k. Elemental burst did like not that much but we're doing hits of 13 with the electro infusion which is pretty good okay rotations yep good okay never mind whatever the case is Raiden and Farina work really well together because look at all those reactions happening and I don't need to do a single thing plus as I've said before my Farina is pretty well built so we do pretty decent damage so Farina into Bennett, into Shangling, into Raiden Burst. That did something. And then normal attacks. I'm seeing, no, I saw 17Ks, 16 We just shredded that. 
I don't know what damage we were doing, but we were doing something because we just absolutely destroyed Masanori there. Like, that is quicker than my Hyper Bloom team. Um, okay, well, we definitely did some pretty big damage in there. I didn't see any of it because there was way too many numbers going on. Burst. That did like 20k or something, maybe? Something like that? Well, these are doing, yeah, 17k or something. I'm not 100% what that burst did, but it was pretty decent. I will throw up what damage it did on the screen now because, yeah, I didn't see it. But it looked, his, his health bar went down pretty quickly, so it must have been something decent. Obviously, we need a little bit of work with this situation because that is, that situation is not that good. She actually helps out a lot with the energy side of things, which is the main reason why I wanted her on this team. Because it's okay, but we have some serious energy problems, especially with Farina. So having her gets everyone's energy up really nicely. Plus her burst damage buffing is pretty insane by the looks of things because we just shredded through that. So I'm pretty happy. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it off here. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye.